So our Telco Cloud strategy is, first of all, a global strategy. So first of all, we have a global backbone. We are making it a, a, a very important global backbone, internet backbone for our customers. Uh, internet is now the network, so we acknowledge that and we provide a internet class for our customers with bandwidth availability, with security, with all these kind of things. Uh, in addition to that, we have currently 45 hubs across the globe. We will go to 100 in the next two or three years. And from these hubs, they are, let's say, YAS, uh, uh, simply YAS Pass uh, platform. And from this uh, platform, we are able to deliver cloud-based solution. And we are able to deliver two types of cloud-based solution. We are able to deliver MEX, services like we are doing on SD1 with SD1 Gateway facilitating the integration between MPLS and SD1. But we are also innovating by hosting cloud-based solutions from vendors. So we have announced the first one with Fortinet and we will announce a few of us uh, by end of the year. And the third thing of the let's say telco cloud strategy is the cloud connectivity things. So from there we have a lot, of course, all these hubs are co-located with the major cloud service provider, could be Google, Amazon, Azure, Alibaba, Oracle, IBM. All these guys are co-located with us. So we are facilitating the connectivity to the cloud. We are making sure that this connectivity is with the right level of security. We have a full range of capability there. And from there as well, and we have innovated this year for our customers. We have hosted uh, new partners like Aviatrix in order to manage the multi-cloud strategy of our customers directly from our uh, hubs and from our telco cloud. So globally, telco cloud is all of this. And of course, it requires automation, API, orchestration. It's really a cloud native things that we want to execute.